in the previous video on the two supply source with one source having a, a different polarity from the other, we, we produce two equations for the left hand side, 7i1 plus 3i2 equals 10. That was equation one for the current in this loop. And on the right hand side, we got a 3i1 plus 5i2 equals negative 8. Then solving for the two equations would give that i1 equals to 2.85 amps. So i1 equals 2.85 amps. And i2 equals to negative 3.31 amps. So we can write on that I1 to point A five amps and note for I2, I2 we got a value of negative 3.21 amps, which means that the direction of I2 is opposite to our assumed what direction. So our direction for A2 is actually in this direction, which is 3.31 amps. So you need to know that. When we set up the mesh analysis, we assumed that I2 was flowing in this direction and I1 in this direction. When we solve for I1 and I2, we found that I2 was positive 2.85, which means that it is in the direction that was assumed, but I2 was negative 3.31 amps, which means that the direction of I2 was opposite from the assumed, which means that it is in this direction. Now, we need to find out what is the value of the current through R3. The value of the current through R3 is I1 plus I2. So let's do that. So we want to find um, what's the current through IR3. I R3 is equal to I1 plus I2, which is equal to 2.85 amps plus negative 3.31 amps. And that gives us a value of zero negative zero point four six amps okay which means that the current through r3 is opposite to the assumed direction so the current through r3 is not is not in this direction but it is in this direction Okay, at a value of 0 0.46 amps. Okay, so we see, looking at Kirchhoff's current law, we see that a current of 2.85 amps is flowing in this direction. A current of 0 0.46 amps is flowing in this direction. Okay. Right, and a total current of the sum of these two, I1 and the current two here, IR1 and the current flowing two, um, the current two R1 and the current flowing two R3 adds up to give you 3.31. So if you add 2.85 and 0 0.46, you get 3.31 amps. Okay, so. Just to recap, when you're doing a mesh analysis on a reverse polarity, you are still assume the normal flow of current in the mesh. But when you do the calculations, you will see that the, the mass will take care of itself. And if you get a negative value to the assumed value, you, that indicates that the current is in the opposite direction. 
Now, in a, in a following video, I will demonstrate that the voltage around each closed loop adds back to the supply voltage by using Kirchhoff's voltage law.